Is Roman Reigns going to be drafted over from SmackDown to Monday Night Raw in the WWE Draft 2021? Hi, welcome to SCW here on YouTube.com. Thank you for choosing the channel and choosing the video. Please subscribe right now. Leave any comments in the comment section. Please like and share the video as well. With the Draft 2021 on its way in the next couple of weeks, lots of speculation. Who will beat the movers and shakers in the draft? And I'm going to focus with a lot of potential evidence we've got today why Roman Reigns could could be on his way to Monday nights on Raw. Let's start with the star power on SmackDown in comparison to Raw. With Roman Reigns aligned with the bloodline of the Usos and Paul Heyman, we've also got the Demon Finn Balor, we've got Brock Lesnar who returned at SummerSlam, a potential future feud for Roman Reigns right now. We've got Becky Lynch who also returned at SummerSlam, we've got Seth Rollins, we've got Edge, we've got now the WWE Champion in Big E, and we've also got Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks. If we look on the Raw side, we've had the championship feud for a most of the year of Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre. Yes, we have Charlotte Flair as well on Raw, but outside of that right now, it's kind of felt a little bit flat and it feels a very big imbalance on the two rosters. You've seen as well with the Raw demographic with the 18 to 49 demo, it's been dropping rapidly, you know, even to the point that AEW Dynamite has been beating Raw on that demo for the last couple of weeks, particularly as well with the NFL coming back. So WWE are going to want to counter this, whether it's just to do with AEW, whether it's to do with the NFL, we'll have to wait and see. But looking at it, Roman for me could be the one that can make sense to go over and here is why. Now on the day I'm recording Recording this video is Monday the 20th of September 2021 and Roman Reigns has been booked to be on Monday Night Raw this evening in a six-man tag team match. We've got the Bloodline taking on the New Day. Of course, Big E won the WWE Championship last week on Monday Night Raw. He's of course been face-to-face -face with Roman this week on SmackDown. The Usos also attacking Big E is led to a six-man tag match randomly being put on Raw this week. Now, is that to improve the ratings is the first question. Like I said, WWE wants to improve that demo. They want to up the Raw ratings. Roman under SmackDown over the last year since he's returned with this, you know, bloodline character, acknowledging him, the head of the table. You know, he's actually done wonders with SmackDown carrying the ratings arguably at points on his own. We've been building other stars up. We've had returns come in. Roman instantly could be shoved from one show to the other, and hopefully you would see an instant improvement. So ratings could be one thing. We could be looking tonight as this could be a test as why Roman is there. Not just your wild card rule, not just your you know quarterly brand to brand invitational. You know, Roman Reigns is on this show, and perhaps there is a very good reason why. Maybe this is to see if, well, this is the ratings fix we need will move Roman Reigns over to Raw come the draft in two weeks time. You're probably asking yourself, well, why not Big E? I mean, of course, we've got the feud there. Big E now is the WWE Champion. He's still technically a SmackDown superstar. Well, we need to have one champion on each show. Surely Big E could fill that role. And where you'd say, yep, yeah, that's a fresh main eventer. It'd be good to see him on Monday nights. Right now, the star power still would be with Roman Reigns. You've got the new star in Big E that could go up to SmackDown, and with that other star power that you have with SmackDown, I think SmackDown would do just fine. Another note why Roman Reigns is on Monday Night Raw this evening, and you know, not with the SmackDown house show right now, is because SmackDown is overseas doing a tour in the United Kingdom, and Roman Reigns and the Usos have not been advertised for that tour. Now, you may think so, well, perhaps maybe due to the pandemic and circumstances, Roman just isn't with the SmackDown shows for this reason. But actually, Roman Reigns is going to be a part of Crown Jewel taking place in October, which will be outside of the United States. So for me, that excuse doesn't really fly in this instance. Maybe we're being made to feel already that Roman is not going to be associated with SmackDown for much longer. So that could be another key of why he could be going over to Monday Night Raw. Now, I have mentioned Crown Jewel, where Roman Reigns is advertised to take on Brock Lesnar. Another little clue that was given to us this past week on SmackDown while Caleb Braxton was talking to Paul Heyman, telling Paul Heyman that Brock Lesnar is scheduled to appear on the 4th of October Monday Night Raw draft show. Interesting, so if he's gonna be there, then surely that's an invitation for Paul Heyman and Roman Reigns to be there the second night of the draft. Again, is this another tease to say that Roman is moving to a different show and that he's not gonna be on SmackDown moving forward? And also, arguably, could mean that Brock Lesnar could be moving back to Raw as well. Brock has consistently been 
you know, associated with Monday Night Raw throughout this recent brand split. He's never really been on SmackDown, not more than a cup of coffee. When he was actually moved there in 2019 when Fox started, he was on Raw within what, about a week or two weeks of that in a trade. So it almost feels that Brock goes where Brock wants to go. And it feels that Brock may be already be more comfortable with going to Monday nights on Raw as well. So if that feud could continue on Raw, keep Bobby Lashley in the picture. Yes, you can see where I'm going with this. We can get Bobby Lashley against Brock Lesnar. We can even get Bobby Lashley against Roman Reigns, another fresh opponent for the big dog, the head of the table, moving forward as we go in towards Raw Rumble and WrestleMania season. Another note you could make as well, of course, each time there is a draft show each year, usually Raw gets the first draft pick in recent years. Raw gets three picks to SmackDowns every two due to the fact that the Raw is three hours long and SmackDown is two. If Raw is getting the first draft picks, then surely it would make most sense for them to go for the biggest attraction in WWE right now, which would be Roman Reigns. He is the number one guy, the head of the table after all. Last little potential clue and a giveaway and a potential spoiler today as well for another draft pick. If you don't want to know any draft picks, now is your time to switch off. Drew McIntyre potentially has been confirmed that he could be going over to SmackDown because he's been advertised for a Universal Championship shot against Roman Reigns on the 1st of October SmackDown, which is the first night of the draft. Now, for me personally, I've been saying Drew McIntyre will move over to SmackDown for months on this channel. So it's no stranger that that's been my feeling that that will be Drew's destination going forward. But of course, one thing I've always said is Drew would be a guy that you'd have take on Roman Reigns in a lengthy program. Well, if you're going to give this match away on the 1st of October, well, surely you're going to do this match on television for a television rating because you're not going to be able to do this match on a big pay-per-view for at least the next year afterwards. This implies to me that not only Drew McIntyre could be heading over to SmackDown, but again, it's another bit of evidence that Roman Reigns could be moving to Monday Night Raw. So that's the clues that we've been given. That's the evidence that's put on show in today's video. Do you think that Roman Reigns will be moving to Monday Night Raw in the 2021 draft? Let me know in the comments below right now. And not only do you think it's going to happen, do you want it to happen? I've said for the longest time that I don't think it should happen. I actually like what's happening with Roman on SmackDown. And sometimes I believe if it's not broke, don't fix it but at the same time it is an instant ratings pull as you go over some of the evidence there Roman was carrying Smackdown before we had the likes and returns of a Becky Lynch and a Brock Lesnar before Edge returned and won the Royal Rumble and went over to Smackdown yes we had Seth Rollins on that show as well but Seth Rollins hasn't been really in and around the championship picture Bianca Belair was built up as a new star of course alongside her program with Sasha Banks there have been people helping Roman on Smackdown but not to the same level as what we've got right now. You could easily move Roman over to Raw, and I don't think it makes such a big difference on SmackDown, which I personally think would keep both television networks happy if they had, you know, shared star power going out. Because perhaps, yeah, Fox wouldn't be happy to lose Roman Reigns, but if they've got the star power, the likes of a Becky Lynch, a Seth Rollins, an Edge, Sasha Banks, and if you had like Big E, you know, staying there as the WWE Champion, Drew McIntyre being added to the Knicks, maybe you move over a key flip and push him hard on SmackDown, you can really still make a real sizable, you know, very good roster on SmackDown where Fox will be still very, very happy. And on Raw, on the other hand, will get the likes of, you know, Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar, which should hopefully push the numbers up in the demographics for the red side. And like I said, if we're building towards him versus Biggie at Survivor Series, one of them needs to be on a show each. And I think at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if Big E was going to be the one that would be on SmackDown if he concludes a program with Bobby Lashley at Extreme Rules this week. But that's my thoughts anyway. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to check out these videos on the side of your screen right now, including the latest Ask SCW Q&A. And as well as that, a retro review. Go and check them out right now. But that's all from me. Thank you for watching. More draft videos will be on the way in the next couple of weeks on the channel. So make sure to keep things glued here on SCW. All the best. Have a great day. And I'll see you next time.